What do you think of photo shoots? All of us have posed in front of a Christmas tree or seashore or trees with autumn leaves turning. But honestly, these pale in comparison to the photographs we receive from probes, rovers, and telescopes. They send to Earth pictures of unique locations that are unlikely to be reached in our lifetime or ever. And this makes these documents incredibly valuable to science, to say nothing of the awe they inspire in those who view them. Today, we'll demonstrate the most amazing and freshest photos made by the Hubble Space Telescope, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, and that stalwart veteran rover, the Curiosity. Would you like to see a galaxy, the light from which has been traveling to us for hundreds of thousands of light years? Would you like to see breathtaking Martian landscapes? Could these photos change our world in the future? In places where people can't reach, AI cameras become our eyes. For example, the Curiosity rover, built by the U.S. Space Agency, has been operating on the Red Planet since August 6, 2012. In December of the same year, the mission was prolonged indefinitely, and Curiosity is still operating on the Big Red Planet. You might think the rover's traveled hundreds of miles since then, but no, it's barely moved 30 kilometers. However, Curiosity has brought priceless information to scientists, photos of various locations on Mars mainly close to the Gale Crater. It's an impact funnel which is about 4 billion years old. Curiosity was designed specifically to study this crater, and the rover has done an excellent job. For example, it recently sent a photo from the slope of the Martian Mount Sharp, which plunged researchers into intellectual ecstasy. The panorama included part of the mountain itself, as well as the Rafael Navarro Peak located in the distance. NASA employees were amazed at the beauty of the landscape and decided to make a full-fledged postcard from this photo, overlaying several shades on it, as well as compiling pictures of different times of the day. It turned out something amazing, at the same time reminiscent of alien and terrestrial landscapes. This is what these photos look like in black and white, as sent by the rover. Of course, this is not the only photo sent by the Curiosity rover, the aforementioned mountain, named after a scientist who passed away in early 2021, appears in many of the rover's images. It's quite visible from afar. Do the photos provided by Curiosity look too boring because it only explored the Gale Crater? Not at all. The Curious rover tried to look into all corners of the huge 164-kilometer-wide impact funnel. For example, it repeatedly photographed not only Mount Sharp, but also its foot, where, by the way, the rover found clay. Curiosity's cameras also captured unique photographs of glowing clouds gathering over Gale Crater. By the way, this huge depression might be an ancient Martian lake, but there are still heated discussions on this issue. However, let's leave Mars alone and go to some immeasurably more distant locations. Want to see pictures of a galaxy located at a huge distance from us? Thanks to the Hubble telescope, this has become possible. Incredibly, the light of this galaxy has been traveling to us for 230 million years, so it may no longer exist in the form that's captured in the photo. The picture clearly shows spirals rapidly rotating around the center of a huge structure. Modern telescopes are able to look deep into the universe and see what people didn't even dream of 100 to 200 years ago. The galaxy UGC 11537 is located in the constellation Aquila and is quite close to the Milky Way, so close that stars from the latter were also captured. The namesake of our channel, the Hubble Telescope, observed this part of the sky as part of a program to study supermassive black holes, in particular in order to estimate their true masses, as well as to understand the principles behind the movement of stars in such galaxies. Do you think that this is the limit of vigilance of terrestrial optical systems? Absolutely not. 
they can see much further. Thanks to the Chandra Space Observatory, astronomers have been able to take a closer look at the largest gravitationally bound structures of the macrocosm, clusters of galaxies. As a rule, in the center of each of these conglomerations, there's the largest galaxy possible. Such groups include thousands of star clusters and clouds of hot gas with a mass much larger than that of the galaxies. This time, Chandra observed an object located almost 4 billion light-years from us. It's not easy to comprehend such a distance. It's enough to understand that it's incredibly far. We're talking about a cluster of galaxies called RBS-797. Based on images from the NASA Space Observatory, it's assumed that there are two supermassive black holes at the center of this structure. In general, such a tandem is not uncommon in the universe, but for both active objects to be so close to each other and in such close interaction is something astronomers observed for the first time. In addition, these black holes emit powerful jets. So what was so surprising about this picture? Scientists noticed strange, gigantic cavities that had previously been observed in other galaxies. The origin of unusual voids is very difficult to explain. Most likely, this is the result of the activity of matter, which, with the help of multi-directional jets, blows out cavities in hot gas clouds. In total, experts from the University of Bologna found four such voids. In addition to them, two radio sources located at a distance of 250 light-years from each other fell into the eyepiece of the telescope. Once confirmed, these black holes will be the closest neighbors ever seen by Earth astronomers. What practical benefits does this give us? If the void-forming algorithm turns out to be plausible, astronomers will know more of the physical conditions near black hole event horizons. But what is the farthest corner of the universe where the vigilant eye of earthly telescopes could possibly look? Here, Hubble has excelled again. It's the Hubble who holds the honorary record. The telescope has discovered the most distant galaxy ever recorded by optical instruments. Its name is GNZ11, and the object was born just 400 million years after the Big Bang. The light from this galaxy has been traveling to us for almost 13 and a half billion years. Perhaps the instruments failed, or the astronomers achieved an inaccuracy somewhere. No, this scenario was ruled out as the scientists double-checked all the parameters of the object on the light wave spectrometer, and the results completely matched. The GNZ11 galaxy is located in the constellation Ursa Major, and if we take into account the expansion factor of the universe, then the so-called accompanying distance to it is 32 billion light-years. Astronomers have calculated that this object is 25 times smaller than the Milky Way, about 100 times less populated by stars. Previously, the most distant galaxy from us was considered to be egsy 8 p 7 located in the constellation Bootes. It was discovered with the help of the Keck Observatory. Presumably, the objects located 13.2 billion years from the edge of the Milky Way. Photographs of distant objects such as planets of the solar system we haven't been to, or galaxies of the same age as the universe, have a huge astronomic value to current and future generations, since they let us learn more about processes that we're just beginning to comprehend. Take a look at the screenshots that are now on the screen. These are statistics from YouTube. What does this mean? Notice, now 57% of viewers of this channel are watching without a subscription. Therefore, in order not to miss Hubble videos, you just need to click on the red button, which looks like this. It's below this video. The law of the universe is simple. Remember that. After all, each of your subscriptions is very important to me. The more viewers, the more often they watch and like, the faster a new mega-interesting video will come out.